So, funny story. Featherweight's mic stopped working the moment I got the stream running. So now we're kind of just in hell together. Where I can I can see Featherweight, but we can't actually like interact. By the way, this is Featherweight. The one the only. <laughs> Alright. Oh, what to do? We can we can try turning it off and on again. We can try another microphone. A, f a fifth magical microphone. This is just absolutely the worst because... No, I got another sound spike again. So there's something. There's something so close to working. Oh. Do you want to just pop onto Discord? We can set up Discord chatting. That'll work. That'll work great. <laughs> we'll get you into the Discord, and then I'll get the audio capture set up if Discord's working. How about that? How about that? I'm just going to go into a Discord channel. You've got, like, the, the crew friends, or the crew friends streaming, right? Another Discord. No? Yes? No? How's it going, chat? We're finding our way around the blockage. Cool green screen. It's not that cool. It's just a piece of fabric on a medical divider that we wheel around our house. Gonna consult with Paul here. Uh, what do I say? What do I even say about this? Very exciting typing. I've been uh, informed by friends and family that my typing sounds like I have uh, been aggressed and I have to write like a very passive aggressive letter back to them. So I'm just like, yeah, that's that's my face when I'm typing. Every time I type, I look like that and 
that's why you often hear it in the back of like Ian streams or perhaps work calls <laughs> per my last email is exactly how I start every it takes a long time for me to get warmed up in the typing because I have to I was like um actually at the start and now the cops are involved rude <laughs> all right so i guess uh featherweight let's play 20 questions do you have discord and you're in a voice channel in the Loading Ready Run Discord server. Such as Crew Friends Streaming. Yay, nay. I don't see you. We can all just also just I can just phone you. Yeah, all right. Friends forever. Discord is forever. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh God, why is this so hard? Why? Why, why? Okay, we're not Discord friends. We're just filled with hate and uh, animosity. But I will find you. I will find you. Okay. Nope, nothing. Hi, Infected Saiyan. We, uh, have an audio problem where Featherweight can't, can't talk to anyone. Uh, <laughs> everything was working and then it stopped working. And I blame Windows. That's the one to blame. Uh... Ah, Beowulf's giving it all away. Digital sculpting with Blender. So, uh, Featherweight can stick around and dirtle art and not talk or something, or go go home and have a nap. And I don't know. Uh, Paul's trying to tell me what to tell Featherweight to do, but Paul should just. DM Featherweight. The end. You can restart computer? Yeah. Alright. So Featherweight's going to say goodbye for a brief period of time. And I will do the presentation to get us on today's topic. Alright? Cool. Goodbye. So... Now that Featherweight's gone, the party can begin. No. Anyways, 
<clears throat> Today, on Can't Draw Horses Club. Digital sculpting. Digital styles. Sculpting's not the same as drawing, because they're in, like, 3D, but if it's on a computer, then it's, it's like projections against the wall of a cave. The surface is flat, Therefore, the the image is also flat. So if you're if you've trapped the the sculptures in a computer, then it is two D, like a drawing. <clears throat> Back in the day, there was a program called Kai's Power Goo that let you poke and prod and grab and bulge weird images mostly the Mona Lisa but you could also import your own things and then have like a little timeline where you got to watch the the transformations take place some software is made specifically for this digital sculpting which is basically like a photoshop filter for a 3d model right you got that? You get to transform things by, by gramming onto them. Uh, and then other software is like a whole 3D modeling suite. And then it just has like settings or workspaces for sculpting. Uh, I checked Houdini on uh, Steam earlier today. And it, Houdini Indie is available for $350. And that's the kind of price range you'll be looking at for these specific softwares. It's like, you can maybe get them for like $200 on sale, but they're like professional enterprise business things. Like it's expected that you work at a company that pays for your software license or subscription, uh, like $400 for, for a thing. So uh, I went on Wikipedia and the article for digital sculpting has these friends as, as their example of what you can do with digital sculpting. And so I had to include them. <laughs> uh, I guess I, I would point to all of the lumpy bumps and the, the creases and wrinkles and things as what the digital sculpting is for versus what 3D modeling does. Because there is a difference. It's part of like the same workflow. And a lot of the software that does sculpting exclusively can be like integrated into a workflow like ZBrush. It just you go into like Maya or Max or whatever, and you're doing your model, and then you export it, and you pull it into ZBrush, and you do your sculpt, and then you pull it back into the other things to do retopology or things like that, because the sculpting will leave you with an unusable mesh. So the plan today for Featherweight and I, assuming all goes well, uh, is to use Blender to sculpt some new friends. The end. Now I go check on the control room. Uh, by the way, it does exist in this space. No. Uh, did you try uh, checking your settings on Discord? Like, does Discord pick up your mic? Too many things at once. All right, well, I have to close down my uh, presentation and load up blend blend mo. So we can we can continue to work on this as we go. I've muted myself in Discord so you don't get two of me. <laughs> oh, blender, 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 blender. Behold. 
blend space. The infinite continuum of 3D modeling. I'm going to just uh, delete everything. The end. Now we have a pure and pristine emptiness to work within. Going to start with a icosphere. And I'm going to very slowly... Oh, uh, sometimes you can do things in Blender that uh, crash Blender or your computer if you do them too quickly. So I'm going to try to do these quite slowly. Because <laughs> if my machine crashes, everything stops. The fun, the fun is over. All right, subdivide. Again, enhance, enhance. Uh, I can show you kind of what it's doing uh, if I go to wireframe mode. Because it started with, uh, whoops, I'll just start again. Echosphere. No, that's a regular sphere. Get out of here. I wanted a special thing. I wanted a D20. Is that a sphere again? No, that's an icosphere at five levels of subdivision that it just popped in here. Let's go back, 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 back. This is what it starts with. And with the sculpting, you can't have too few vertices because then you're just pulling on like a single vertice and it's ugly. That seems like a lot of fun to start with. And I just go over to the sculpting tab. And I have all these tools. I feel like a, a new revelation has occurred. Like, is it, is it something stupid or something good? Anything? No, it's not. No, nothing good. Nothing good for anyone. All right. So for each of these tools, uh, at least the blue ones, I think, have an add or a subtract. So if you use them, this is the crease one. If you hold control, it inverts it. Uh, and mostly they do what they say on the tin, so I'm just going to play around with them. The other thing about this is uh, you can see how it's kind of like pulling in a weird way. Like, there's just not enough vertices to keep it smooth or to actually, like, follow the shape. So uh, I'm going to have to either remesh during the thing, which will kind of basically check the overall geometry using voxels. So it's going to check, like, a little grid that you determine the size of, and then it's going to make a new mesh following that. So if I hit this, that's the point one size. I can make this smaller. Like, I don't know, 0.05. And then remesh, and it's smoother. Let me... Yeah. Some sort of thing. 
Uh, I also have dynamic topography that I can toggle on, which will, as I'm doing stuff, add new geometry live, but that can be a bit rough on the computer. So I might not do that. Or I might do that selectively. But, uh... Making sure everything is good. Good? No? Terrible. Yes. Okay. So I guess uh, it's up to me to make my own friend to stream with now. Uh, it's Featherweight was murdered by a computer. <laughs> In the worst possible way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's see. Draw. What does draw do? Draw makes like a bumpy. Oh, I can also change the radius of the thing that I'm doing. Which I think is F. F to pull up this radius ring. Uh, and then I think Shift F is strength. Which goes up to 1 and down to 0. So it's like how much it pulls. Yes. And technically all of the tools have their own like hotkey. Like... One, C, two, three, L. I'm sure they all make sense somewhere to someone. I just have to... I wonder if there's a hotkey for remesh. Control R! <laughs> Technology. Yeah. <laughs> Some good lumps. Some good lumps and bumps. <laughs> oh. So, uh, what do friends have? Legs? Is this big enough, like, for a friend body or something? Do I, do I need a bigger, a bigger friend? Oh! Oh, yes. Hello? Yes. Oh. Okay, I'm going to hang up the Discord call cuz this is actually working through the normal way. Yes, it's Windows muted my microphone on the deepest possible level. Honestly, when Windows had an update like 2 weeks ago, it all of my USB stuff just disengaged. But yeah. Ah. Hello, everyone. It's a big relief for all of us. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Uh, cheers and hydrations. I have a cube. You have a cube. You gonna Go keep cube. keep a cube? Or are you gonna you gonna spherize? Or are you gonna add some more cubes and then group them together? Because oh, like I you can kind of cube. rough out your shape of your thing before you go into sculpting. That's a thing you can do. I want my own lumpy sphere. It just okay. looks so nice. Well, it's got some weird creases on it. Uh, <clears throat> subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Yeah. Five. Uh, let's see, there's one that's like a snake hook, which kind of makes 
tentacles. And then I think grab just keeps things at like the same. Oh, that's some good tearing. Woo! Even Remesh can't help there. <laughs> just I made a horrible thing. Alright. I'm going to turn on the symmetry. Oh, yeah, that would help. <laughs> I think I don't know if my 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 thing is salvageable. <laughs> but I'm just gonna play with the tools for a little bit. Lumpy. Lumpy. Hmm. I'm gonna make a turkey. Use the pose tool. Oh god. I just I got the pose tool to move this little this little noodle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little wiggler. A little wiggler. <laughs> so good. What does thumb do? Give me a thumb. Oh. That's weird. It's just a little flat. Oh, it's like you take your thumb and smear the edge of a clay thing. Because it gives you like a little flat. I watched like half of two tutorials, so I am raring to go. Yeah! Ooh. They're both by Australians. <laughs> Perfect. There we go, I can just smooth my mistakes away. But some things are not mistakes. They're happy little squigglers. Happy little squigglers. <laughs> what if I had a little ghost friend like Dimple from Mob Psycho 100? Oh, you could totally do Dimple. Yeah, I could easily do Dimple here. As long as I stop everything I'm doing. And... <laughs> I just love the little wiggler. Mine's a big wiggler. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Yeah, they, they say not to use the pose tool on the middle of your body, but... You get like a, uh, one of those Muppet mouths, the, the, but the, like the telephone Muppets, the, the, the yippers, the, the big... Uh, no, it's like just a pit that's a mouth. <laughs> nudge. Oh, I can nudge things. Pinch. Pinchy, 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 pinchy. Mm. Don't forget to remesh. Mm. Blob. Oh, blob is lovely. Let's inflate. Oh, well, inflate just kind of. Yeah, inflate is different from blob. Like blob, blob is wants... localized. Inflate is kind of. Oof. I do it just a, a huge inflation over here. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clay thumb. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh no! I I should stop that. That's something bad is happening. I'm making holes in my. I should cover that up. Just uh. Fix. <laughs> Please fix. 
clay strips. Clay strips will lay down fresh and fix it, right? Fix. Fix. I should actually show people the horrible hole that I'm trying to... Mm. Then maybe I, I pinch. A pinch. That will pinch everything together. Pinch. It's working. It's working. Mm, good turkey. Now it needs a head. Hello, Tazzy B. We are making friends using Blender's digital sculpting layout. I'm trying to close a hole that I caused. And in doing so, learn, oh god, how the software works. It's much friendlier than it used to be. It used to be real awful. Oh, it's not getting better. I just keep moving the hole. There. All gone. Ah! Even more holes! No! <laughs> I've done a crime to this turkey's neck. I... <laughs> My, uh, D20 is a little... <laughs> a little broken. I'm just... I might just, um, start from the top with some, some, some cubes. Uh, are we making turkeys? Yeah, let's make turkeys. I'm gonna make a, a cube. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a uh, neck. Turkeys have necks, right? Oh, yes. They're mostly neck. Mostly neck. Uh, cylinder. Big ol' cylinder. Do you know how to combine two bobbly shapes into one bobbly shape? Like you have two objects that are yes. separate? Uh, you can group them or... Join. The unholy fusion button. Join. It's Join. Uh, in the object menu. But you have to have both objects selected. And I think you're in edit mode. Layout, modeling, sculpting. Yeah, go into go into layout. Layout? Yeah, now you're in you're in object mode. So you can just uh drag a selection around both. Or select them both in the thing. Yeah, and then under the object thing, or control J join. Uh object. It's It's in the base menu. It's below duplicate. Oh, 
Ah, yeah. Excellent. Now you have one lovely friend to work from. I'm going to 3D print this when I'm done. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> you might have to decimate the, the mesh a bit. Eh, that the slicer figure it out. Which is oh yeah, the slicer will will help you there, but I I don't know. You can get a lot of a lot of vertices uh, going on. Oh no, I just oh yeah. Uh, how do I move this 3D cursor? How do I move you? Cursor spacebar. No, that's timeline. Beep. So I want this cylinder to rotate. Uh, shift space bar. B. Select box. Set origin to 3D cursor. So now I can rotate my uh, neck around uh, the a different point. I forget how to reset the thingy. Um, oops. I want that forward. This is the one I'm going to The neck goes out of the center of the body, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're just beautiful gonna... plumage. <laughs> Heads are circles, right? Yeah. Oh god, not circles. Circles are flat. I forgot. I need 3D. Spheres. Spheres. Uh turkey heads are huge. Of course. Uh. Oh god, what have I done? It's perfect, never mind. Uh, legs. Let's see if I can use the power of mirrors to give myself some legs. So I make a cylinder, and then I apply the mirror modifier to it. Because I don't want to just mirror vertices. But, uh... Uh... uh Squish the Y. Scale the X. Oh. Mm. It's definitely working. Everything's working exactly the way I want it to. And I don't know why. There it goes! Get my stuff all moved back around. All right, there. And then I go into the other thing, and then I move it, and it's mirrored on the X, but not the Y. And the Y is the green one. Okay, I fixed it. Now I have two. Uh, uh, uh no, no. Oh God! Oh no, there's too many of them. Okay, now it's only mirrored on the Y. Uh, and select. Oh god. Nobody panic. Turkey legs are happening. I did it. I think I've zoomed too grittily and too deep. A little bit. 
turkeys just have sticks, right? Yeah. Uh, and now... Oh, yes, I am definitely inside the turkey. <laughs> uh, uh, tails are just a cube, right? Yes. Uh, there we are. Flat. And then... Kind of goes like that. And if I subdivide this thing, I can kind of make it a tail before I break it a tail. Yeah. Um. Do I want to... Yes, okay, let's turn on some mirroring. How do I do that? It's like vertex mirroring and not the other one. That might be too complicated for my tiny brain. Yay! Something worked. <laughs> We're all very proud of me. Yeah, turkey tails are just like that. Okay, uh, and now a wing or two. <laughs> Adding the eyes really gives it life. What do wings even look like? Like fly nubbies? Um kind of Oh god. They kind of they kind of like swoop back. You know, it would have been easier just to draw hand turkeys. It occurs to me. Easier, but perhaps not superior. It's true. 
I think we're going to end up with a much superior product this way. Look at those. A centerpiece rings. to make Grandma proud. <laughs> I think if any of my grandparents saw this, they would be like, why did you do that? I don't understand computers. Pretty good, pretty good. Need some neck gobblies. Neck gobblies? Uh. Hmm. Is that a problem? Uh, no. Uh, yes. Yes, I fixed it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Maybe I didn't. Just gonna have to balance these out while I make a sandwich here. Bird sandwich! Alright, and if I rotate? There we go! There we go. Got some bird action going on. Gonna arbitrarily rotate again. Uh, rotate around the Z and then that'll... You can lock what stuff, uh, what axis you rotate around by just hitting the letter. Okay. We're getting there. We're zeroing in. Okay, I'm gonna hit apply on my mirror and that'll actually create the, the, the duplicate. How do I apply this? I think it's control A? A. No? Which button is apply? Well, cage. Edit me. Real time. Render. Why can I not uh, apply? Apply! And I'll do the same for the legs. Just uh, apply that. No? Come on. Uh, did I have anything else on any of these other objects? No? Alright. So I think I'm going to try and be even smarter and use, like, bisection to make sure that the parts that overlap don't have stuff buried inside. And I think I know how to do that, but we'll find out. I think I'll just do it, like, one at a time. Oh, remeshing was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's very good. Uh... I think that's yes, good, good. All right, perfect. Apply, okay. And same thing. Boolean, union, cube. Now they are together forever. Apply. Uh, Boolean, union, cube. Good. Right. All right, so now I can, I think, select all and join and then i'll have the thing i want to start poking and prodding or to make a friend it's beautiful to 
Kill the sculptor! Ba -na 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 -na. Sorry with the remish. That was a mistake! <laughs> this was a mistake! <laughs> Not do <Okay>. that. <laughs> I'll do that later. <gasps> Maybe I want a Dynatop? I don't know. Okay. This is fine. This is fine for now. Okay. Uh. <laughs> right. Okay. I've got mirroring on the Y. Perfect. I'm gonna, I guess, start with the face because that's the important turkey part. Uh. Now that I actually have to do something, I'm nervous. <laughs> I... Is it thumb? Because I want to squish the sides in. Flatten? Oh! Oh! I have to go back into layout and apply my scale because everything's going to be screwed up if I don't. Transform. Yeah, apply all transforms. There we go. Yeah, that's better. All right. Yeah. Now we're flattening with cheese. Come here, face. Is this a good time for me to admit that I've never seen a turkey? There's some wild turkeys uh, that hang around my parents' place up north. They just walk around like they own the place. I mean, technically, I have seen turkeys. I thought I had maybe X and Y mirroring. No, maybe just. Maybe things are just too far away. And off the axis <laughs> for me to actually mirror this well. Mm. Oh, and I've got very few uh, vertices, so I'm actually going to subdivide this sucker. couple times. Is the tail not? That's fine. That's fine. I can come back to that later. I want kind of a, a round body for my, my round food bird Oh, yeah, that's not what I want at all. Is 
So note Looking to self, in. make sure your stuff is actually like centered on the axis if you want to use mirroring. <laughs> Otherwise. That rematch wasn't as bad. Oops. Moving out the sharp edges on my bird. I'm making an excellent foot. Oh, that is a foot. <laughs> For sure. Let's see, I think I would for that for for the foots. Uh. Oh god, what do I... Clay strips? Yeah, just layer on... Oh... More vertices. What do I... Uh... Yeah, that's great. This is great. This is... <laughs> These feet are great. <laughs> Can I grab the toes and stuff? Maybe inflate the leggies a bit so they're not so anemic. feet. Kind of ducky looking in the foot zone. Turkeys have duck feet, right? Duck is also a festive dish. It hey. works. Yeah, this is a turducken. Genetically. <laughs> Genetically it's for Duncan. Yeah. We're all just trying to live our lives like this Turducken. It can't help that it has a weird tail. And no beak. Try to fix that. Uh... Yeah. Nope. Do turkeys have things on top of their head? I don't think so. I might be thinking of vultures. 
Oh, it's so hard to know the difference. We are very fast approaching our first break. Oh, lovely. Oh, I should I should save this. I forgot to save. So oh, I'm yeah, gonna save. We're gonna run a commercial, save our progress on our friends. Uh, going right on the desktop. Yeah. Can't miss it. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back after some messages. Please, please stand by. <laughs> Hello, party people. I mean, club, club friends, club havers, people club here. Sandwiches? I even forgot to turn on my light. Um, we're using Blender sculpting tools to make ourselves some friends for this Thanksgiving. Better way to die. This is Featherweight, if you've never met. Uh, here's mine in progress. Ian said it was a good duck. It's not a duck. Um, this one is Featherweight's, which is much further ahead than mine, because I, I took a more roundabout route in setting my, my thing up. Uh, I think I'm reaching peak turkey. So, yeah, maybe you maybe you want to like upgrade to like some sort of four legged creature. Hmm. Uh, maybe a human. Humans are a lot like turkeys. Like they have two legs and some arm things. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot. OK. If you're if you're using a tool and you hit hold shift while you're to tooling around, it does smoothing. So you can always toggle to smooth while you're in the middle of things. So I can be like, and then so I can create problems and then make them go away. Like I've always wanted to. I mean, I'm not really here to create problems. I'm here to create a friend. My own friend. Getting a little lumpy in the back end. Uh, how do feathers work? Just kind of... Like that. Then maybe if I, I crease, I guess, in between, it'll look more like feathers. Especially if I do a top and crease. Come yeah, on. It's working. Uh. Perfect. Beautiful. Lovely. Ugh. The bird of my dreams.
Got a crease that goes all the way down. Trying to excavate the tail a bit. That looks better to me. Its plumage is quite majestic. <laughs> Angular. Looks like someone took a bite out of this. <laughs> now to make it smooth. Yes, smooth. I guess it's okay if there's some sharp points. Perfectly normal. <laughs> Turkeys have spiky tails. That's what they're known for. I declare mine a grade A number one turkey. It is complete. Uh, I have to give mine eyes and the little danglers. So, let's keep it up. Uh, blob? Blob. Small blob. Eh. Now, how do I export this in a manner that allows me to 3D print? Uh, you can ah. export as, like, OBJ like an object, or uh, actually a lot of things will even take just the normal blend files, but maybe an FBX is what you want. Yeah, and exactly. two blobs for the eyes. There. Okay. Now that is safely saved, I can start something new and exciting. Yay! New sculpting. I'm just going to use the same file and uh, just hide that. Oh, okay. How did I reset the thing? Was it spacey? Uh, no. No, no. No, no, no. Uh, shift spacebar. I want to set my origin cursor back to zero. It's like a uh... Render, reset, 3D cursor. Shift S. <clears throat> oh. Cursor to world origin. Bam! All right.
What shall this be? Uh, another thing I can do is change the way it looks. I believe. Somewhere in here. Mm. It's information about the model. But just for... Workspace. Ah, ah, texture. No. Oh well, there's something somewhere in here that lets you make it not just a white plain thing. And later I will look it up. But right now, I'm just going to turn on X mirroring and figure out my life. Uh, Really, I could do anything. Even a boat. A boat? Large automobile. <clears throat> Thank you, Noble Martin, for that subscription. If this is your first time. Welcome to the channel. Perfectly mirrored in every way. Oh, what if I wanted to make Shrek? I can do that. That's easy. Eh. Beautiful. It's all in the Dealey Boppers. Those are excellent Shrek Dealey Boppers. That's how you know it's a Shrek.
Yeah, it's kind of a nose. How big is Shrek's nose? Like, real big? Pretty big. like a, a, a smile mouth thing does he have teeth do i give him teeth he's gotta have big chomping teeth big chomping teeth all right teeth Two teeth in the middle, just like nature nature made. Sure, I just I just need to add more detail. Maybe a remesh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't do anything. <laughs> smooth it out a bit. <laughs> oh, it's More lip. <laughs> More lips will solve this. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. I made myself cry. Never look at your own art, kids. <laughs> oh. I think I do actually have to, I have to pull the brow out and then sink the eyes actually in a little bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna scrape these out. There, now his eyebrows.
Ah, it's a joy to share this experience with other people. Oh, he has normal ears too, doesn't he? Does he? Does Shrek have ears? <laughs> I think the noobly things are his ears? Don't know what I'm making, but it's vaguely Don Bluthy. A little bit. That's that's like the elderly man that in the cat returns. I'm pretty sure the cat returns isn't a Don Bluth movie. Well, well, well. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> You've made a perfect Shrek! It needs no more! I think, yeah, I think I'm done with this Shrek! You have distilled the essence of track. <laughs> I'm gonna start a new thing. I don't know if I want to be friends with that. <laughs> Done a bird and Shrek. Now you can do a plane. Oh no, I see Tamley says I want to Shrek in a crossover with Sonic suggests. So of course I have to do Sonic. <laughs> the hedgehog. <sighs> okay, I have to try Sonic too. I shall start a new file. Alright. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm gonna leave this sphere for mostly the, the body. Um, he doesn't have a neck. Are you sure he doesn't have a neck? He doesn't have a neck. I, I run into that problem a lot. Sphere. All right. Uh... Yeah. Come on, grab him. No. Uh, so start with the eyeball. It's only got the one. Oh, you're starting with the <clears throat> the head. Face. The face zone. Feel like I have to build mine up. Get like arm. 
arms and legs. Come on down. And he has like shoes. Lost his arm a little bit there. There we go. Now I'm working with sculpting.
flatten the bottom of the feet. Hmm, there's a tool for that. Yeah. There we go. Now his feet are flat. He has a mouth, right? Presumably that's where the chili gogs go. Alright. What are we using to paint yours? Hmm? What are you using to paint yours? When I join two different shapes, it color differentiates them automatically. Right. Okay. So. I think I can... Short answer, I'm not? There is painting but I don't want to do UVs. <laughs> oh, that's like, that's a horse for another day. Dang straight. Sonic is spiky because he is a hedgehog. Going so fast. Oh, should I give this one teeth too? <laughs> yes. Sorry, I was just looking at the emotes in Chad. All the emotes of Sonic have teeth. Well, if you want to follow the trend, sure. I like your little friend. <laughs> He's going to look so good when I remesh him. <laughs> what's your what's your scale at for your remesh? I don't even know. <laughs> but now he needs shoes. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh no, I did something really bad to the arms on mine, so I'm just going to stop. <laughs> I 
you know we, we should have started with like make a worm make a snake make a limbless lizard like <laughs> i did terrible things to the legs <laughs> hey how are you gonna get some shoes on those <laughs> do they make shoes in that size I just did a spiky turkey. <laughs> you know, that's, that, that, they don't tell you that, that everything's just a turkey. <sighs> now, all things start to sphere. Just one sphere? Gumby. I should be able to make Gumby. Right? I don't have to look at reference. Reference is like cheating. Yeah. That's what I always say. Gumby's tall, right? Strapping lad. Don't know how I ended up with a hole in the middle of my Gumby.
fixed. Ah! Just turned my 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 Gumby around. I'm just like, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what have I done? Please, please don't don't have that. Please no. No 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 no. What happened? Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> Remesh saved me. Remesh, help. Help. Okay, I think, I think I fixed the problem. Dip the toe, that's a Gumby. Look, he, he, he needs all the extra material just in case. It's like a camel, you know, storing water for the road. Remember to flip your model, people. And a flatten him back out. But what if Gumby was yoked? These are the questions of our day. Your Gumby has skipped arm day. <laughs> My Gumby is all back, okay?
You thought it was Gumpy, but it was that Earthbound villain. There's a new Gumby in town. Ooh, that's... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta limber up. Yeah. How does one mirror an object? Mirror the object? Yes. Uh, it's the mirror modifier. Ah, mirror, yes. There's a whole category for it. Excellent. <laughs> Is that your Santa can? Yes. Little melon fingers for grabbins. Guess I should make some fingers. Perfect. Okay, my mirroring has failed, so I'm going to have to pull these out myself. Come on, fingies. You can do it.
Ah, perfect. He is my perfect fast child. I bet he can go so fast. Now let's see what a rematch will do to you. Do 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 do. Seems fine. Mm. I think your child managed to maintain, you know, the, the integrity of spirit that you instilled on them at such a young age. Hmm. How goes Gumgums? Having trouble with the hand. It's uh. <laughs> it appears to be intersecting itself on several levels. <clears throat> it's getting there. I swear, I just have to pull the fingers out. I had very good luck using the blob tool for fingers. Blob tool. All right. Look at the little nubbins. Good nubbins. Come on, blob. Come on. There we go. That's a nice fat finger. Ah. Oh. Yes. And if I just crease, then I can just uh, save myself some work. There. It worked. High five. One handed Gumby. <laughs> Your friend Sanic is here. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll catch you if you fall. I do not know if I can make this a more perfect Sonic. It's, I like. I'm not sure one exists. You have all the Sonics in the universe. This one was the best. Let's see. New file. 
It's actually time for our second break here. Ah, perfect. So we'll have a little bit of time to... Oh, is there a hole now? You punched the cube straight through him. That hand got shot. Ah! Gumby. Gumby no like hand hole. Anyways, yes. We'll be back. After some messages. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> it, here, here, I'll make it stay. There we go. Now it's gone forever. See? Gumby's not here anymore. Gumby's not here. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hello again, viewers and club members. Thank you all for your support in this time. Well, Featherweight and I make ourselves some friends for Thanksgiving. This is how it's going. <laughs> They're all together. They're all together. See, since I kept them all, I could just pose them in different scenes together. You know? Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to a new character. I figure since since I did a Sonic, I have to do maybe a Mario or Kirby would be easy. <laughs> Actually, any any Smash Sora's in Smash, I could I could make a Kingdom Hearts, or I could just make a Keyblade for my Sonic to hold. And I am going to do a Waluigi, because one must Waluigi. Wow. Yeah, I think Mario. A, a Waluigi head. Yeah, I'm going to start with and a Mario. Waluigi from memory? We shall find out. This is going to be like the Mario 64 uh, title thing, where you play with his nose. Giant blobby nose. That just looks straight on. Does Mario have a mouth? I think it might just be a mustache portal. I think it might just be a mustache. Making a mustache. It's gonna be good. Changing my remix or remush settings so that it is better than it is now. This is a song about sculpting. <clears throat>
making a hat. Yes, lovely. How's your hat going? Oh god. That's a nose. Sorry, I misidentified it. <laughs> I'm I'm having trouble making the nose go straight. Uh-huh. It's uh that's a two up. I think I can work around that. Yeah! Just have to smooth out the forehead lump. Who doesn't have a few lumps in their forehead? I'd like to meet that person. No, I don't want to meet that person. They sound boring. All right. Uh, now a body. A body is just a subdivided cube that you live in, right? <laughs> I'm too afraid to disagree with you.
Coat. All right, Let's get my plumber body going. Hmm. There we go. That's remesh. I should definitely tell people that uh, sculpting is used a lot for uh, clothing. That's how you get a lot of like the fabric details and stuff. I think next time I do this, I have to learn how to use the masking tool so that I can extrude areas instead of trying to 
build up limbs. Yes, I don't think we're operating on best practices at the moment. <laughs> no. There we go. T-posing Mario. That is a quality Mario. I'm working on it. Now I need to figure out how to mustache. It's perplexing me. I'll probably have to start with a sphere. Mm. Mario is also yoked. <laughs> well, that's just true. I gotta get the booty. This is what peak performance looks like. Just two orbs. <laughs> there we go. Filling it out a bit. Sometimes you just gotta read topology the booty.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your mustache is very good. Thank you. I'm very proud of the mustache. My mustache is a, a sausage. Mario is holding a frankfurter in his mouth. <laughs> now I must make ears. And I get to draw an M. Just like they did it at Nintendo. All right, I think I'm just going to add Mario to my uh, collection here. Get them all posed. Maybe add a floor and some lighting, you know. You've practically got the whole Mario movie ready to go. Yeah. There. Let's see. People are going to go wild for that Sonic cameo. is a different green. This Wario is looking surprisingly Wario-like. Yeah. I'm... I ain't jealous. Well, Luigi-like, I should say. Wario is a whole other guy. Yeah. They're nothing alike. Not even related. <laughs> they just like tennis. They just like tennis. Oh, 
Mario's not a color yet. Uh, Mario red. Perfect. All my children are. <laughs> Like, I, every time I look at it, I'm like, Shrek is obviously the moon from Majora's Mask. I keep seeing Zardoz. The swamp is good. <laughs> Donkey bad. Uh, let's see, Add another, just a plane. Blue like the sky. Then I can make I've a... done something to screw up my mirroring, and I don't know what. Just trying to make a Shrek light. Maybe I can't. Not the way I want it to. It's a glow in the dark Shrek. He is the beacon which will lead us all home. Oh, I don't have a camera, so I can't look at the render. Uh, add a camera. Ah, ah! There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
My Shrek. She's very bright. Eyelids are a mystery to me. Mm. That's the problem I'm going to have to figure out. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want it to be the source of light, so let's go back to just a regular thing and then I'll add another light source. I can read. Where's the word emission? There it is. It's in alphabetical order, but I can't see it. Here we are. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to take a rendering of this. What is it? 12? Oh! I have to back that up a bit. But I'll just let it run. Because we've only got like four minutes left. Oh, I can't. To finish my hat. Oh no. What is a lot of Ouija without a hat? It's a tragedy is what well, it is. Uh... <laughs> Let's see if there's any subs I missed. Um we got Noble Martel, first time sub. Lucian 0451 for 39 months. Awesome. Nolly3, who's got a 46 month streak, says, just check it in to renew my sub, but I love how this looks so far. Then uh, Lajurlsk resubbed for a 16 month streak, saying, keep it up tradition to hit a new stream each month. Also, Buff Gumby? Question mark? <laughs> Exclamation point. Yeah, I'm going to back that camera up. Just back it up a bit. Uh, boop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh, there we go. Now Shrek's in frame. Hmm. I think if Waluigi could, Waluigi would have a giant orb hat. Very on brand.
Is your sculpting not working? It is. Okay. <laughs> I think I found a winner. Mario up high enough that so his feet are in the floor. <laughs> Not that anyone would look there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm saving this. friends.png Yes. <laughs> well, you ready to say goodbye to all the people, Featherweight? Yes. There. It's been really fun to have you. <laughs> it's been great I'm to be here. Glad it worked finally. Ah, uh, all right. Let's see. What what else is happening here on the channel? We got uh, Dice Friends after this at 5. Um, it's going to be part 2 of the Alabaster Kingdom. I'll probably be watching. And tomorrow is a full jam-packed day. Starting at 10 a.m., 9 o'clock, talking sim. Cameron should be back in the, the hot seat for Deathloop. Uh, the Note Boys are continuing Tormented Souls at 5. Then at 9 p.m. till midnight uh, is Graham's Let's Play, or Play It Forward, of uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Uh, just looking if there's anything special to announce for the week. Nope. Nothing special. Absolutely nothing. So stay tuned for nothing special. Standard is good. <sighs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm glad you were here. Enjoy your Canadian turkey feast. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>